What's going on, chat? Back in action already, because goddamn, we got some video games to play. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is one of like three or four videos that's gonna go up tonight. Here's the plan. I, I, let's just let's just kind of scroll through some of the shit that we have on the docket here. So the Nintendo Direct was an hour ago, hour and forty minutes ago, and it just wrapped up about an hour ago. Which means we are now in a post-Metroid Prime Remastered world. It's been released. It's here. I have it. It just finished downloading. It rang in my ears while I was on the start screen. So that is how we're going to end the night. We'll play as much Metroid as we can fit in before I'm done streaming. But we're going to start things in this order. We're going to check out Sea of Stars. We're going to check out Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. There are demos of both of these games available. Then maybe we'll hop in and do a little bit of like a Game Boy Advance jamboree. Check out some of these games, play some little mini games or micro games. And then we'll check out Metroid Prime Remastered. Let me see you're booing me. Kirby first. No, you can't. Kirby's Kirby might end up being the highlight of the night. You can't prematurely shoot your wad like that. We'll get there. We gotta we gotta work our way there. So let's do some Sea of Stars. I think that's the move. The RPG. Let me just look at the Game Boy games real quick. Checking to see if the software can be played. Jimmy's gonna stream tonight too? Nice! Alright. Regular Game Boy games. One player. Ooh. Ooh. How am I gonna watch both at the same time? You do make a good point. Just lurk. And then you can catch me on YouTube. Kirby's Dreamland. All right, so top of the list that I want to check out: Wario Land 3 and Mario Land 2. Oh baby. Oh baby. All right. Then on Game Boy Advance. Carla, welcome. I need Prime Kirby content. I get it. I get it. I did give you the heads up that I was playing Kirby. I, oh, I just felt it appropriate. You know. I thought that was important to do. Oh, baby! Listen! It's a small list, but it is a quality list. Hawk, welcome. Probably not much. The Nintendo Direct just happened, so we're gonna about to play 5 to 15 games in the next couple hours. We're about to have a blast. Uh, I can skip Mario Kart Super Circuit. I can skip Mario Brothers 3. I've played it a million times. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Zelda Minish Cap? Probably not tonight. However, these are games that both deserve full playthroughs on this channel. They're fucking fantastic. I adore both of them. Mario and Luigi specifically was like one of the first RPGs I remember really digging the fuck into. Super good and has aged pretty well. WarioWare and Kuru Kuru Kururin. Say that quickly, chat. Say it with me. Kuru Kuru Kururin. Kuru Kuru Kururin. Are both getting played tonight. We gotta check them out. They're gonna be so much fun to stream. I'm positive of this. I'm positive of it! Okay. Let's get to some fucking gaming. If you guys have ever played Chrono Trigger, then this should be an absolute treat. If you like JRPGs of any type, if you like beautiful visuals, if you enjoy sweet, sweet sounds, if you like watching me enjoy stuff, this should be a fucking blast to watch. I am so excited to play this game we've been talking about this on game list forever game list in your favorite podcast feed uh or youtube.com slash at game list show uh this game is inspired by chrono trigger it is a jrpg from the studio that made the messenger which is a 2d video video game that's not really like this but somehow it's connected it's no big deal all right, work in progress. The audio, visuals, difficulty, and gameplay mechanics presented here are subject to change. No problem. Now, Traveler, let your adventure begin, and so I shall. Chat, let me know how volume is. I want to make sure we get that exactly correct tonight. Carla with the bitch, just in time. Oh, it's already given such good vibes. Look how warm that campfire looks. It reminds me so much of that Chrono Trigger campfire right off the bat. Chrono Trigger campfire. Don't worry, chat. I'm a pro streamer. I can show you exactly what I mean right away. That's how good I am at this shit. 
That's how good I am at this shit. Watch. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. You see it, right? You see it, right? I'm already feeling the fucking vibes. And listen to it in the background. Oh, baby. New game. Let's do this thing. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead. Zale or Valerie? Va Valir? Valor? A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Or Zale, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solon. I'm kind of feeling Moon Girl. I like her hair. This guy's got a great looking weapon though. But she's got the bow staff. I'm taking... I'm taking Valerie. I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong, but we're gonna roll with it. Unless it's voice and it tells me otherwise, it's Valerie to me. Moon girl. Yeah, right, chat? I did good. Ooh. 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 Look at this game. Awesome, dude. Excellent. All right, we need a good voice for Garl. He's like a, you know, tour guide of sorts. No way. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, what a ride. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. So, the eclipse will happen soon, but we're no closer to Wraith Island. I doubt we'll find a ship at this altitude. To ground level then? Only one way to go from here anyway. Alright. We're doing something here. Oh my god, it looks so fucking perfect, dude. Look at... Like... Why, how is 2D animation this smooth and beautiful? And why is everybody not doing their 2D animation this way? Why is this game different than all the others? R answer me, chat. I don't know the answer. But this, it looks different. Like, there's something special here. I'm not crazy. I like, it, it's not like I'm gonna fall if I don't hit A at the right times. But it is not just like automatically pushing me through. I have to hit A to mantle. So it has like a more interactive feel, which is pretty cool. Gamers go left. And that's why. Because we are fucking rewarded with gold. Oh. Oh. That feels good. 2.5D? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Alright. Can I get up here in any way? No, I gotta come down. Let's go, let's go look at that path. Let's see if we can get there. I see it, it's teasing me. I see it, I see it, I see it. Good shit. Game, you're fucking cool, dude! Solstice Mage Ring. Look at- uh, just intuitive. I'm like, I should press the top middle button to bring up the menu. It does exactly what I want it to do. Let's give our homegirl our, our ring. Solstice Mage Ring. And they time a block. Uh oh. Alright, that might be troublesome for me. You guys might know me as sucking at blocking. The vibes are so exactly correct in this game right now. Harvesting some sort of... Plant. Okay, there's enemies there. Check around our edges. Alright, we'll eventually find a way to ascend. Let's head down. Okay. Attack, skills, moonerang, crescent arc, slashes enemies in an arc, lunar magic projectile that can bounce to multiple targets. 
Listen to this battle theme. Yeah, dude. This is the game. Let's try the Moon Ring. Press A to deflect. Oh, I fucked it up. I didn't realize. Uh, let's check his skills. Pearl or Nourish? Throws a snack at a friend. That's a cool healing mechanic. Pearls an enemy to another position. Cool. Chat, I'm gonna pull game sound down a little bit. Does that sound right? Skills. Healing light. Report restores HP. Solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. Oh, nice. They're on top of each other now. Hold A for power. And so I did. Satisfying. Alright, let's try to fucking deflect. Press A to deflect. I'm ready. That's very satisfying. That's very satisfying. Pick up some fucking loot. Oh yeah, the squirrel pictures that you posted in the Discord were fucking great. This game is hitting just right. Good lord. More crops. A uh, great little vertical slice of a demo, too. Not much, like, story. I'm not sitting here hearing all the lore. It's just like, hey, check it out. This is what our game is about. Oh, cool. Shortcut. If we need to backtrack. It's like, uh, this demo versus Forspoken so far. Think about them. Very similar demos. You're just thrown into a vertical slice of the game, likely a couple hours in. Forspoken would have maybe benefited from giving you the introductory hours, because I had no idea what the fuck was going on, I didn't know how to use half of the moves, they did a poor job of explaining, and there wasn't much of a tutorial, or there... The tutorial that they gave you was not comprehensive enough, but also taxing enough that I didn't want any more tutorial. This game is simple enough that it can give you that same timed vertical slice, but just kind of pepper things in as you go. It's a really nice... ...demo, so far. I mean, I know I'm 10 minutes in, but... Cool. Oh my god. I'm raving about this fucking demo, and they're still piling it on. That was like your example of the adventure field. And now they're gonna give us an example of a town? I love a JRPG town. It's the coziest vibes. I already hear... Oh my god. Chat, grab a fucking drink and a blanket. The vibes are immaculate in here. It's not like you have other options. Still making a deal with pirates? They seem nice enough to me. We got a new party member? Teeks or whatever? She seems cool. I'll get her voice down. Alright, here goes nothing. Maybe I don't have a new party member. I don't know where the pink party member went. Look at this creature, I love it. I don't know who you are. But I love you. Captain Cliche's crew is here again. Somehow, it feels like they're about to have a more determined look about them. Okay. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. I'll let it go just as long as you do not go on thinking I just learned that. I failed to see how this would get a barrel to roll efficiently. Twice on the same side is how I do it. My JRPG voice is... It's been a while. Thanks again for the help. My friend here. 
which is one of my connections throughout the world. Scary stuff. We'll skip around. Oh, this is our girl. If you want to hear a spooky story, just light a campfire and I'll join you. Okay. I like that's a cool dude. Like the characters all have a nice color scheme to them. I'm digging that. Now look who it is. The deal stands. If you can't beat Valtrade at arm wrestling, we've got an item that needs fetching. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith Island. What do you say? We accept. Are we about to have an arm wrestling minigame? Because I'm in. Everybody, arm wrestling battle! <laughs> Beautiful. Valtrade, gear up. I'll do it. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. Plus, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fellow. You got it, Valerie. I'll be your challenger. Valtrade. Captain? Go all out. Okay, my face couldn't be in a worse position for this dialogue. You can't leave without it. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. So... The one you look ready? The one you look like? The one you look like? Right. The one you look like? Ready? Am I an idiot? What the fuck are they trying to say there? <laughs> One. Two. Three. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker <laughs> rips off their shirt. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Very dope moment. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. Ripped. You're not kidding. No magic shirt rule. Of course. Are you kidding? That was awesome. It was kind of awesome. This will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. <laughs> the fucking peck wiggle. You're lucky we didn't ask about specifics. Should have negotiated. You had the chance. This lesson's on the house. Alright. You know it, pal. Alright, so now we have to go do the fetch quest is what's happening here. Awesome little example. Like, the humor in this game is solid, too. Yeah, obviously by this point, you guys know I came into this game expecting to love it. But it is fucking delivering. North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. An undead paid with it is compelled to do one's bidding. Got it. I will use it for redacted. Use it to redacted for spoilers. <laughs> well played. Fine. How do we get in? Here is what kept people away all this time. But you look like you can handle yourselves in battle, so it shouldn't be a problem. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. Keenathan? A bit of magic should do the trick. Alright. Gaming time. Undeath Accord and then to the docks. We got this. Holy shit. Oh, okay, they're in cargo. Cool. So three party members and then the rest of those people are just kind of part of the squad for right now. Alright. Oh. Look at this fucking game, dude! It's got some Costa del Sol vibes over here. So fucking jolly, dude. 
Holy shit. So jolly. Is this just the second floor of the same house? Y'all got any loot? Oh, the campfire! Where's the pink girl? She said she'd tell me a story. Oh, this is like a rest situation. We're good. How to leave? Why to swap character? Book rest back. Book rest. Okay. Alright, got it. That's kind of like an in type situation. If I recall correctly, you need to go north ish for the quest. This Hogwarts DLC looks sick. It's a, it's a pretty crazy uh, departure, but well worth it. Uh, Ty, the Nintendo Direct was today, and they put out demos for Sea of Stars, Kirby. They put out Game Boy games on the Nintendo eShop for subscribers, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. And they put out Metroid Prime Remaster in a fucking shadow drop. So naturally, I grabbed all that shit, <laughs> and we're playing a bunch of it. Welcome to the Nintendo Jamboree. Holy shit, I follow this game on Twitter. Same! Sea of Stars, it's like Chrono Trigger inspired. And it is... Such a slapper, dude. It's so good so far. We're only 10, 12 minutes into the demo so far, and they're kind of just... It's such a good, like, it's such a well-curated thing. Apologies, this area is off-limits for the demo. It's all very well done. I'm a little bit lost on where to go, but we'll figure it out. Seashell. I think we have to get on the uh, pirate ship. But the vibes are fucking immaculate. The game looks good. Oh my god, you can swim, bro? Are you fucking kidding? What is this? What is this wonderful world we're living in? I just love the salt in the area, yeah, totally. Totally valid. Shop. Ooh, rock lid. Nah, I don't need that. Hmm. All right, I'm lost, but I'm gonna chalk that up to it's because I'm streaming and I don't pay good attention to dialogue a lot of times when I do that. Which is common. Obviously. Ooh, but I am off the beaten path and just finding loot on top of loot, baby. That's always nice. Dude, the fact that you can just swim all over the fucking place is ridiculous. You'd think in a JRPG that that would not be the case. Uh, you know what we should do? Let's go... Talk to the party and see if they'll reiterate what we're supposed to fucking do right now. <laughs> because we fucked up the demo slightly. Or you're not adventurers. The way to the abandoned keep, the abandoned wizard will open for you. Or my name isn't Keenathan. Okay, but where is the. Nothing. Here we go. You're gonna tell me where to go. Or you see me bust the place open? I mean... Not looking good. <laughs> not looking good for a hint. Alright, we're taking notes on the demo for the full game. Maybe a uh, journal of sorts. Ooh. Pocket sand! Look at I gotta move! <laughs> Pocket sand. All right, this is where I started. Who gave me the quest is the pirate girl. Oh, hey. Okay. 
I'll stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fuck, man. And we're in basically a sandbox right now, too. <laughs> the humble boast. There's gotta be like a main route out of the town or something like that that we're not seeing. We'll get there. Swim under the docks. Okay. It's a good carrot on the stick. That's what that is. Under the docks might have some shit for us. See no entry though. Vibing with the soundtrack too, it's such fucking jolly JRPG vibes. It's something else. What are you? Maybe a save? Yep, save point. Pirate's honor. My daughter loves boats so much, she talks about them every day. Look at this one, Dad. You think it belongs to pirates? Maybe. Oh, this is something. Look at our path. This path is leading me in the right direction. Easy. Easy clap, bro. Progress being made. Oh! Oh! World map. You're glorious. Look at this dragon on the left. So rad. What are you? Fishing lake? Let's go to the keep. <sighs> Listen to that fucking overworld theme, baby. Abandoned wizard's lab. That's where we're supposed to be. We're doing the right thing. This game is feeling like an absolute must buy. This is a drop everything and play type of video game. Lifted a few inches, no problem, bro. Commence! Oh yeah, dude! Fucking shredded. So red. This little pirate squad we picked up on the way is bringing the funk. Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Dungeon time. So we gotta go get the relic, bring it back, and then we get on the boat. Or my name's not Keenan, and he keeps on saying this bullshit. <laughs> All right. Explore our corners. Looks looks clean. Oh, yeah. Mystery dungeon vibes for sure. My, what an improbable place. And look at this device. I wonder what it does. We're gonna find out, bro. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? Okay. Oh, pocket sand. Cool puzzle solving, dude. That's a great mechanic. And not something you'd expect in like a 2D HD overworld like this. Rad. 
Okay, so this is like the save. We can save real quick. We can heal up over here. This is where our boy is. Let's just do our exploring. We'll come back here if we need it. This is where the dungeon proper begins, it seems. Yeah. No? Inactive. And this one's on. Ooh. Okay, I'm assuming we opened up this door. Ooh, it's a portal. Cool. Oh! Oh, shit! Skills! Moonerang! Alright, we gotta get our deflect ready. So satisfying when you get it. I got the rhythm. I got the fucking rhythm. I got the fucking rhythm, chat! Oh! Ooh. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Alright. You have kind of shitty skills. I think just a regular attack from you. And then you've got the pile-up move, which we love. Swing, swing, swing. This is the best. I fucked up. Fuck. But it's the Moonerang for me. We picked the right character. Super cool. Oh, the timer on their head is how long until they do a attack. So how many moves I have in between now and when they're defeated. Or when they take action, I guess. It's impressive how much area is traversable in this game. Holy shit. We're in full on puzzle mode. So fucking cool. Teal Amber Staff? We gotta equip that. I'm a staff user. Oh yeah! That just feels nice. Who's staff? Who dis? Mm. Oh, absolute gamer's intuition. The gamer's intuition strikes again. You see these puzzle solving and platforming skills? Blue crystal. Okay. So I think we're done here? And we bring this crystal back to... Here and insert it, I guess? Yeah, okay. We're onto something, so there's a portal to a different room. Then we can solve the puzzle here. Cool. I love it. Oh, I was not expecting that to work. I thought I yeeted myself off. But in fact, I did exactly the right thing. Gamer's intuition strikes again. Oh, I'm actually fucked up right now. I have no MP for her, and I have no... things. Mick Niller 1. Now, let me tell you that there's a person I know in my life from the past who went by Mick Niller, and it's a pretty unique name. I don't know if you're available to chat, but if you are, are you the Mick Niller I'm thinking of? If so, you've made my life complete. <laughs> there sure is. <laughs> Holy shit, buddy. It's been far too long. 
so good to see that name pop up. It's ya boy. Always and forever. My fucking man. Hope you're doing well over there. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the support. Love to see it. Hold A for power. Alright, I got this. I got this. Here we go. Fucking right. Alright. Nice. Oh, dude. Alright, this is my Healy boy. We're gonna make it happen. Skills. Nourish. We're throwing food at old girl. She needs it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now we're in fucking business. Now we are in business. It's too easy. Chat, I am fucking loving this game. And this is just a demo. The game still has six months to cook. It was just announced. It's coming out August 29th. Are you fucking kidding me? How do you polish this game more? Riddle me that. It's already so fucking good. Is there really nothing to do up here except- Oh, this is the answer. Yo. There had to be something. Alright. Progress being made. Alright. Skills. Here we go, deflection time. Game remote engage. Whoa. No fucking problem. Uh, I need to look into regaining MP. I am a little bit used to like quality of life being in your JRPGs these days. You get your MP back and your health back after a fight, which is just nice. In a demo, I'll use some items. I'll do some MP regain, no problem. Oh, I don't have enough MP to fucking nourish. What a nightmare. Party recovers 40 HP. Ally recovers 80 M HP. God damn. I think I can just kill this thing and then we can heal out of battle. That's my hope here. We're gonna find out. Nice. Nice! Okay. Let's uh let's look into skills. We'll do items. There we go. And you know what? Let's do the MP for old girl so she can throw the uh, boomerang more often. Cause that shit is too fucking smooth, bro. Too fucking smooth. No, how do I get there? Here? I don't see the answer. Oh, all right. There we go. Yeet. Up and in. Nice. What a fantastic dungeon I'm playing right now. I'm truly blown away. It's exactly my type of bullshit. Alright. I don't even really understand what these symbols are above the enemies sometimes, but I see the four moonerangs, and I noticed when I was doing the moonerang last time that they like depleted as I landed them. And I thought it would maybe lead to like a kill if I got all four, but that didn't seem to be the case, so. I mean, we'll try again, but. Find out. Alright, here we go. Deflection time. Gamer time, engage. I fucked it up miserably. <laughs> Alright, we're okay though. Skills. Sunball. Oh, nice. Okay, if I target mid. It splashes out. All systems full power. 
Oh yeah. All right. We need a. Oh god, we need a heal. Game is uh challenging. We're definitely taking our fucking licks in these battles. Mm. I'm gonna hurl this guy in with the other fools. And then use that splash attack, I guess, on everybody. And then pray that that works. Combo, Solstice Strike. Dual attack, each regenerate 3 MP. So sick. So sick. Camera, come on, man! Stop making me look bad. Bro, focus on my fucking face. There you go, camera. Wait, is this the demo or the game? Freight Train! Ugh, you won't believe the fucking turn of events. The Nintendo Direct happened, and it was bonkers. And among the things announced, were demos today for Octopath Traveler 2, for Sea of Stars, for Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. They put out Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games available today for Nintendo Online and Nintendo Online with Expansion Pass owners, respectively. And they shadow dropped a $40 fucking Metroid Prime remaster. Look at this shit. We're playing Metroid Prime tonight. Next up is Kirby Demo, then we're gonna play some Game Boy Advance games, and we're ending the night playing fucking Metroid Prime on the Switch. Native. Remastered. Running. 2023. It's all happening here. On twitch.tv slash <laughs> Uh, Freight, we did a game list reacts for it if you're interested as well. If you'd like to watch it in that fashion. But uh, yeah, truly a, a wild time. It's made for a fun, fun evening of streaming so far, and this Sea of Star demos is delivering on so many fronts right now. Oh my fucking god, I can't get my timing. And I got my first fucking KO, my dude is down. I'll get to it sitting down to download Next Fest demos. Heard. You're so much better at like the indie stuff than I am, man. I'm such a fucking first party boy. Level up. Oh, what a satisfying level up screen. Yo, I love this character with the uh, blue hair and the fucking bow staff. HP, I'm, I'm kind of getting fucked up if I'm being honest here. I'm going to take the HP for demo purposes. Everybody leveled up together. We'll take the magic defense, maybe? I'll count off for you the total that's getting downloaded right now. Yeah, yeah, do tell me. Magic attack. Mana points. Yeah, you're my healer. You can take the mana points. Fun party, dude. Everyone's got their rolls. Got some cash. New hole to jump in. Excellent. That's the answer for our path. Let's go. Yeet. And this is going to be a third crystal, I'm assuming. We can go back to the main room. Oh no. It's a lever. I was mistaken. New hole. New hole, who the- oh, yeah. We need a better bit. Chat, make sure you don't let me say new hole anymore. I just don't think it's right. <laughs> uh oh. I can barely stop myself. I think it's funny. <laughs> New hole is funny. New hole is becoming a bit as we speak. You're fucking up, chat. Nice. New hole. Got it. Okay. So I'm guessing if I jump back and then go put the green shard in. What happens if you mix blue and green? What color happens? Teal, of course. Third room. 
Uno Moss crystals, please. God, look at this fucking game. It looks so good. What a holy me- Stop it. Don't take my whole jokes. I'm just kidding. You're encouraging me, and I appreciate that in a very big way. The whole bit is here to stay. New hole. Hell yeah. Okay. Chest, please. Silver blade? That must be for... I don't know. I'll take my hole where I want to take my hole, thank you. Understood. <laughs> Abacus! Show non-boss enemies HP in combat. Cool. Why the fuck would I press that, ever? What a sham, dude. All I did was get myself a fight? Kidding me? All right, we need a good moonerang. I always fuck up my timing. I have a delay, we have to delay. Delay, 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 delay. Delay, not yet, Jake, now. Yes, okay, we got the rhythm. Oh shit. Okay. I didn't realize that there was a fourth enemy. If you guys look on the screen, there's three enemies lined up on the right, and I got my first three deflects, no problem. On the right, that enemy threw me off, so when the blade started flying over there, I can't be held responsible. What up, whole squad? I miss anything? Sounds to me like you're right up to date. <laughs> you get the whole bit. <laughs> now I gotta get my Switch and download shit? I'm telling you, man. A wild day for video games. Chat, if you're just joining us, here's the plan. Sea of Stars demo now. Kirby demo next. Game Boy Jamboree after that. We're playing WarioWare, Kuru 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 Rin, and then possibly some Wario Land or Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. We're wrapping up this evening with Metroid fucking Prime Remastered because this is just the best day. I still wanted to play Harry Potter. But you know, in due time. All right, we're gonna nourish ourselves we need that fucking food apple apple for garl my boy apple drop damn bro oh no don't KO my girl no 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 will this work on her no it won't I don't have a fucking res dude I have to fight all these guys. With just two characters. I miss my- Man, I miss my girl. Man, I miss my hole. <laughs> don't. Sorry. Don't. Don't clip it. <laughs> Not funny. Not a good joke. Boost. What's happening? My girl's back. And it's letting me boost. Everything's so good and awesome. What do I do? Combo. Solstice Strike. With the fucking boost and the KO. We love to see it. Don't kill her again. Are you fucking kidding me? I really have no idea how I came back to life during that fight, but I'll take it. Oh, okay. So that's one of three pillars completed, one of three fights. I got this light here to go off. <laughs> Puzzle Master! Um, items. We need to heal up desperately. Fuck, dude. It feels stupid as fuck to... I feel like I'm messing something up drastically here. I should save those items. Okay. Oh, loot. I forgot my loot. God damn it! Alright. Here we go. Basic attack on mid. Oh. 
skills. Healing light? I don't really need that right now. Let's just go for the basic attack on mid. See if we can KO an enemy in the first round before it starts fucking us up. Drop across the board. God damn! Do I want the hurl? I don't really need the hurl. KO, please. Oh, just die. All right, cool. So I'm gaining MP when I take hits is what's happening here. Boost, boost it. Oh, I'm absorbing the stuff that's on the field that that thing dropped. Good to see you're doing well, homie. I'll pop back in more frequently now that I know I can find you here. Absolutely. More often than not, you can find me here. So fucking good to catch up. If you still have my number, shoot me a text sometime, my dude. You are missed and valued and adored. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Feel free to come and hang out whenever you would like. All right. We're going to smack this motherfucker with an auto attack just to see what the combo does. <laughs> Boom, baby. Okay. Now, one enemy. It's time this it's time for the fucking Moonerang Lemmy gifts a sub to Mick Miller. What a fucking legend. Thank you, Lemmy. So kind. Now it's even easier to watch me, so you have to come back. Alright, it's Moonerang Redemption Arc time. Here we go. Deflection. Level 1000. Blah! Blah! Fuck. Fuck. I notice you're playing video games dangerously close to MTV's The Challenge, Rider Dies. I'm still an episode behind the challenge, so my plan is it's fucking madness day. Squanky, I don't know how much you've been able to keep up, but the Nintendo Direct happened and they shadow dropped five things that all need to be experienced tonight. So there's literally Sea of Stars demo that's being played right now, Kirby demo that's being played next, Metroid Prime Remastered is happening tonight. I don't understand. They dropped the entire thing now. And Game Boy Advance games are now available on the Switch. So we're in the middle of a Nintendo jamboree impulsively. It's fucking wild. And I fucked up the Moonerang. And everybody hates me. Oh my god, they're gonna double- it's gonna double KO me. <laughs> How could one person be this bad at video games? Riddle me that, chat. We still have another trial to go, and I've been using all my fucking... ...loot. So it's not technically last night of the challenge. So that means I have two hours of challenge to catch up on. And then... I can come back. Why are you so bad? I know. It's a rhetorical question. Don't answer it, chat. Okay. Okay, chat. <laughs> I get it. I get it. This is what I should have been doing the whole time. In between these fights, I should be resting at this and not using my items and shit. Oh, hey, look. It's the girl. Want me to read you a story? I only have one so far, but it's kind of spooky. Let's hear the fucking story. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known, and their navigator, Hortense. Hortense. W-H-O-R-E space T-E-N-T-S. Hortense. Remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense <laughs> skill in Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches. No. Just hand sanitizer. Sorry to disappoint. 
The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she was ready to quit the pirate life. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, the both of them sulking while their crew begged for some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then, one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. As he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew by conjuring an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their mind to the ghastly place, only until Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, and Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day, for but a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. A long story. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. That's a, a lot of lore, but very cool. Optional fucking dialogue. We shall save. Dude, we're getting a lot out of this. 47 minutes into this demo. What can I cook? Oh, yes, dude. Oh, yes, I needed this berry jam so fucking bad. Nice, dude. Okay. Rest. Now we can continue. With the mission. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, I know. The Game Boy Advance games are so good. Uh, let me think of all six of them. So, Superstar Saga and Minish Cap are both like full playthrough type of things. Like, I'm not gonna hop in there and just play a couple minutes of them. Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Brothers Advance 4, which is Super Mario Brothers 3. Eh, hit or miss. That's the worst Mario Kart game that's ever been created. And. That's just Mario Brothers 3 with like a tiny coat of paint and some extra levels. Maybe we'll check those out one day. But for GBA tonight, WarioWare, the original WarioWare, Mega Micro Games, Micro Mini Games, Mega Micro... We'll play. And Kuru 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 Rin, one of the coolest puzzle games ever fucking created. Yeah. We'll be playing those. No doubt. Uh, last one. Here we go. What a dungeon we're in. This is it, just two? Game on. Moonerang, watch me now. Here we go, Moonerang Redemption. Ooh! Ooh, nobody Moonerangs like the boy. Finally got the fucking Moonerang down, dude. What a time. Detonate? This is new. Hey, hey, hey! Chill. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright. Third one. Alright, we get our little treasure chest. And that's gonna have a third light that I can put down. In the main pillar, we might be looking at... Yeah, red crystal. We might be looking at wrapping up this dungeon. This has been such a good slice of video game, dude. I am truly blown away. Okay. 
Okay, maybe not. We have to go to this one, and then I might have to do red and green to make another one as well. Potentially so. We'll see. I see a pillar down there. You guys see it? Yep, yep. You can do that. Say no more. Hey, hey, right here in the well. I lost my watch in the lake and a fish swallowed it. Would you mind catching it for me? It, might, it ought to be glowing. Fishing basics. Press A to cast. Casting is always at full power. I'll airborne steer the bobber with L and press A to kick it into the water. Okay. When hooked, fish with L. Hold A to reel while it's in the zone. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, nope. We wanna. Oh. Okay. What am I doing wrong? I don't see the zone. Where's the zone? I still don't see the zone. Whoa. The software was closed because an error occurred. Okay, listen, hey, your game has six months to go. A, a hard crash on a demo on the day of release. They could patch the demo. They could fix the game. There's a thousand different ways they can do it. We're at an hour right now of a game that's still six months until it comes out. I've had an absolute fucking blast playing it. Here's what we'll do. We'll move on to the next thing. There's so much to do tonight. Maybe we do a part two playthrough of this demo. I don't know how much is left, but I'd be happy to stream it again. I've had a blast doing it so far. So let's call it good right now, and we'll move on to Kirby.